Hi everyone, I'm Nancy Novak. Welcome to my Facebook Live. I'm here every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to show you some card making, some crafts, whatever I think of. So um, let's get started. Tonight I want to show you a couple of cards that I made using the leaf punch. So I made a couple of wreath cards. Okay, and quick and easy, I'm going to show you how to make one and then I'm going to finish the inside of the other one and we'll talk a little bit about the sentiments and paper pumpkin and whatever else comes to play. So um, thanks for being here and let's get started. Okay, so here are the cards up close. So I'm using Fresh Fig. This one I used Blackberry Bliss, very, very similar in color. Um, so I just changed it up a little bit. Um, fresh Fig, Pumpkin Pie, very vanilla. And I punched out a few leaves already to save a little time. So I have a lot of the brights. I have Crushed Curry and Pumpkin Pie and Cherry Cobbler. And for those of you who aren't familiar with the punch, I will show you. This is the Fresh Fig. And here is my Leaf Punch. And it's very simple to use. Just have to put it in here. And this is a scrap piece of paper. And give it a squeeze and punches out your leaf. So I'm going to punch four of these. That's why I say always, always save your scraps. And you'd be surprised at how many punches you can get out of a piece of scrap. Okay. So then I took my bone folder and I kind of curled all of these up just a little bit. So you can see there's a little bit of a, a texture to them. And I think I'll do the easy part first. I am going to attach my mat piece to my card base. And I will have my project sheets tomorrow on my blog. So go to www.stampandshout.com and I will have a PDF link there. So you'll have all the sizes that I used, the colors that I used, and links to the supplies that I used. So if you see something that you like, see something that you want to buy, you can click on the link real easy and it'll take you right to my online store. So let me think here. What do I want to do first? I'm going to bring in the snail. So what I did was I chose one color. I'm going to bring in a little scrap piece of paper. Hold on here. And I just snailed the stem very lightly. This is just to get, get us started. Give us an idea of where we want our wreath placed. I want it in the upper part of my card. So I'm going to put one there. So I'm just placing these down to get my little circle started here. Okay, so then what I did was I chose my color sequence. So I'm going to go yellow, fresh fig, and orange. And I just laid these down underneath each other one, each of the other ones. And I created my little circle. And this is kind of like a bow. You have to play with it and fuss with it, but it's very, very easy. You'll see it all come together in the end. So I'm sticking a glue dot underneath the, a leaf here and there, which is going to secure it where I want it. Just kind of want to make sure I hide my stems as much as possible. But again, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just, once I get it kind of where I want it to be, I am just going to stick a glue dot underneath that leaf to make sure it's secure. Oops, I had a glue dot on here. And that's it. Once I get to the end, I'll kind of push it around a little bit, make sure it looks kind of even, kind of like a circle. 
but it's so, so pretty in person. I love it. Okay, so now I am going to stamp my sentiment. So let me bring that in and my fresh fig ink. Okay, so I'm going to stamp this near the bottom. Pretty, 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 pretty. Then I'm going to bring in my ribbon. Lay that down, give me some weight on my card here. This is my goal, is to be able to tie these bows as quick and fast and I always have to play with them. There's a trick, I know that I know what it is, but I can never do this do it the same time the same way twice. Must just be the way my mind thinks. Done. Yeah, that one turned out pretty good. So that's what is this? This is fresh fig. It's like one eighth of an inch. Very pretty. So let's put this together. We'll have the front of this card done. Remember, you can re-watch this video over and over again after I finish posting it. And I will have the project sheets on my blog tomorrow so you'll know the colors I used and the sizes. Isn't that pretty? I have to interrupt myself. Isn't that gorgeous? Just love it. It's very, very pretty in person. Isn't that cool? I love it. Let's stop for a second. What else? I think that's it. So I hope you enjoyed my Facebook Live. I really appreciate you guys coming here. Um, I enjoy your comments. Thank you for leaving them. And uh, if I can be of any help with your stamping needs, please let me know. Please share my posts because I need to get out there so more people come and watch me and like my Facebook page and all that good stuff. You know how it is. And um, that's it till next week. Thanks a lot. See you, See you next time. Bye-bye. Signing off.